Welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. It's time to finally go defeat Akba. And to do that, I need to go to the Ilsid Bunker, which is right here. So, let's go. Um, Shigar, I've been thinking. Perhaps you are right. My father should know I'm alive. It must be your decision. Please, show him this. My signet ring. The sacred dagger took it as proof of my heritage when they saved me. Tell my father I'll wait for him by the lake. My beautiful daughter, Aaliyah, I had lost all hope of ever seeing you again. Father, it's so good to meet you at last. I have missed you so much. This is unbelievable. I am so overjoyed to find you still alive. That joy is shared, Father. By the gods. This is a precious moment for my daughter and me. I shall allow no one to come and disturb it. Leave this room immediately. Don't be ridiculous. Good heavens, what are you doing here? You have what you want. Krauhaus is back in your hands, so I don't know what you think you're doing here. What has this to do with Krauhaus? We are here to celebrate the return of Aliyah among her own, her true family, our order. Have you lost your mind? Perhaps you've lost your memory. Behold this treaty. The very pact agreed between our two peoples by Poxelis, your father. In the name of the kingdom, I, King Poxelis, King of Arks, pledge my fourth direct descendant to the Order of Adornium. In return, the Order shall provide the kingdom with Kraus and Zohark. This child was promised to us, Lunshire. Let her come with us, or prepare to die. Never! I was aware of no such treaty. I refute it entirely! What cause could you have to take my daughter? Guards! What? Don't be rash, Lunshire. Have some sense for a change. What good are your swords against us? I thought you were a little more intelligent than that. This treaty was to ensure the rebirth of our queen. It just happened to save your pathetic kingdom as well. We need a queen, and that queen is Aaliyah. Aaliyah shall be queen, but queen of the humans. Comrades! Fight to the death! Enough. No more bloodshed. I will honor Poxelis' word. I know not what lies in store for me in the Order of Adernium, but it is not for me to bring judgment upon this treaty. The kingdom would never have won the War of the Meiji without the Order's help, and we must honor our promises. Father, I accept this, because in my eyes, honor is the most important quality. I hope we shall meet again soon. But I'm afraid I must leave you now. Oh. will not be necessary. Florence? Is that you? I am sorry to interrupt your reunion, O oh sisters of Eternium. But Aaliyah cannot be your queen. Aaliyah is the fifth descendant of Poxelis. What? I was part of the Order of the Sacred Dagger. A secret order created by Poxelis himself to protect the Kingdom of Arx against all sorts of dangers. I was an important officer of the organization. 
one of the few who knew about this secret treaty. I arranged for Alia to be kidnapped, but the night she was born, I also gave birth to Claris, her twin sister, born a few minutes before Alia. This unexpected birth gave me the idea of putting her into the care of my servant, who could take her out of Ox to the Guild of Travelers. But I was assassinated by an unexpected visitor, who has finally been unmasked thanks to Anshago. Betrayed, and for so many years, does human duplicity know no bounds? Where is the fourth descendant promised in our prophecy? The true queen will reveal herself of her own accord when the time is right. I am deeply disappointed. What a waste of time. We have been waiting for our queen for so many years. Sisters, let us return. Our race is dying out, and we have nothing left to do here. Plot twist! So, uh, where does that leave me? I, I guess I just continue on to the bunker? Deals at bunker? Yeah, uh, I guess so. Okay, where was I? Hi. You want to chat or do you want to die? Mm. Ah. I see. where those Sisters of Adernium came from, because I killed every single one that I found at their base. So they must have come from somewhere else. Yeah, pretty much everybody should be dead. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go, but... Oh, wait a minute. Is it these things? Oh, that's what I need. I need Aqua's rocks. Oh, shit. Where did I put the rest of them? Uh... uh <laughs> um... I gathered some of them up, and then I just kind of, like, ditched them because they seemed pointless. Fuck. Mm. Okay, they're not in my inventory, right? No, I think I left some of them back at 
one of my storage places or even at the um, the portal back at the town of Arks. I might have even left some around here that I never picked up because they're just, like, pointless. There's gotta be extra though, right? There's probably more than enough. Because it would be complete torture to have it, so there's just the right amount. Locked. Right, I remember there's... I don't have a key to that and I can't pick it. I shouldn't have the key to it. Nah. Okay. Let's go to the portal. You know what, then again, maybe there is just the right amount of the rocks. Because that guy, the guy that I killed up out front. I bet the reason he spawned was to give you the last rock. Because otherwise, if there was extras, then you could have opened this before actually getting to this point in the story, right? Which obviously wouldn't be a good thing. Hmm. I can already tell this is going to be annoying trying to track them down. Getting most of them shouldn't be hard. Getting all of them... I, I know there's going to be at least one left behind somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to kill me? Blah, blah, blah. All right, I think... Okay, yeah. So there's two here. You know what? I should have counted how many I needed. There's also a key here. Hammer, rope, and nothingy. I think I need... Two more, right? I think there was five. I think there was five. Five or six. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Let's make sure I didn't accidentally sell any. Alright, let's head to the castle. Two places I can think of to look for here. There's my room, and then the the alchemist room, which is where I actually stored most of my stuff. Alright, that's my room. Still got the <laughs> bloody stuff on it. I don't think I really stored anything in here. Yeah, I didn't. I'm sure I've forgotten something. Oh. She's gone. Hmm. Okay, please tell me I left some here. Please. Oh, God, I didn't. Which means I'm missing at least two, and I have no fucking clue where they are. Oh. I agree with that guard that just sighed. <sighs> well then. Could I just like open up the console and just like make copies of the rocks? Is there a console? I don't think this game has a console. Damn it! Okay, well I'm gonna go hunt them down. I'll be right back. Okay, I just discovered something very strange. I opened this chest up. And I found all the stuff inside of it. This is at the the uh, the Ilsid bunker. And I thought to myself, haven't I looted this before? And then I realized, wait, I remember looting this in the past and thinking the same thing. Which got me thinking, and I just tested it, and it turns out it's true. This chest actually regenerates its inventory. So I can dupe as many enchant objects, as many life potions, and as many candles as I want. Yeah, you just take them. And it's not back there instantly. But if you take them, save the game, load it, and then open it again. 
it, it's all back. So... Candles for everybody! Got ourselves a candle party. Spread the love. I think the bed looks a little bit cold. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> that is very, very strange. More candles. Alright. Well, anyway. Back to the hunt. Okay, I found them all. Well, I found all of the ones that I had previously found and left at one point or another, and then I found where the final one is thanks to a walkthrough. So I just went looking around and, well, there was the one that I found from the priest outside of this place, then there was the two that I found, uh, that I picked up from the teleportal thing that I just kind of left there. And there was a fourth one that I picked up when I went back to the, uh... I don't remember what the hell you call it, the place where I saved Aaliyah from the demon thing under the tavern? I don't actually remember what that place was called. So that makes for four of them, but I'm still missing one. And it turns out the final one is actually right here. And I have to say, I really detest this sort of a thing of, of hey, you need these objects to progress in the game. And you have almost the entire rather huge game world to search for them. And if you don't have every single one, you're completely fucked. It's like, thanks, that's wonderful. So the final one is in here. Apparently it's related to the fact that this skull is missing uh, a candle. Uh, maybe that's why there's unlimited candles from that chest back there, is some sort of a bizarre way of solving the problem of the fact that you might run out of candles or something. I don't know, that's such a... So shoehorned in. It has the key, and then this probably goes to the chest, right? Which I think has the final rock. Yum, 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 yum. Where's my key? Ah, thank God. There it is. At last, the time has come. Soon my body will be host to Akba, and together as one, we will rule over Arks. If something bad should happen to me, I wish to leave this note so that someone else might continue my work for the good of Arks. Aserbius. Hey, buddy. How you doing there? Alright, got my spells. Yep, got all my traps queued up. Let's go probably have a long cutscene and then stab somebody in the face and then it'll probably be the end. Oh, oh god. Okay. He's not fully human. <laughs> I feel like the demon's gonna at least partially come through the portal as soon as I step up here. I'm just gonna leave more time to summon the demon while I look around. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's anything up here. I'm clicking him. Nice hand. 
Okay, I guess he's concentrating. Do I just kill him? The hell is that noise? Okay. That wasn't very effective. That wasn't very effective either. You come here there we seconds go. too late. <laughs> okay. Now I can face you in combat, Guardian. I shall never return to the building. But you on the other hand. I use my millions of healing potions. Alright, so I'm guessing I have to use the weapon, right? Because I don't think magic will be effective. Yeah. Let's cut off his tentacles. He just seems frozen in place. Let's see if I can interrupt his magicking. Stab them in the suckers. Ugh. This is an epic fight to behold. Battle between man who can't see over his armor and wearing oversized helmet. Between him and tentacle man who keeps freezing as if he's bugging out. Double damage. Double kill. Yeah. Triple kill. Holy shit. Yeah. Am I even doing damage? Like, I don't know, he's kind of glowing. Like, is he invulnerable or something? I don't know. He's kind of glowing the same color as this thing here. Maybe I need to, like, extinguish them. I, I don't remember the extinguish spell. Did I do it? Is he even trying to attack me? Or has he just given up? Okay, cool. Oh shit, he's moving now. Now he's frozen again. I mean, he's bleeding. I, I guess he's taking damage. Ow. Okay, there we go. How did you? No. What have you done? Akba may have been evil, but he was the only one who could bring the sun back to Arx. Akba should not have tried to manifest in this dimension. He knows the rules. Rules which you too must follow, Guardian. Master, what do you mean? The rules are set in stone and cannot be broken, Guardian. You were sent by the Noden and must return there the moment your mission has been completed. And Arx's son, was his Serbius telling the truth? Do not worry about this phenomenon. Quite simply, it is not within the Noden's power. Also, things may not be as you have perceived them. I know you have been through powerful experiences here, 
but the power you have acquired makes you too dangerous for this world. The consequence of your staying here any longer could be disastrous, and I have many other missions for you. Allow me to bring you back within our fold. Very good, Master. That was a very anticlimactic ending for an otherwise very great game. It's definitely a enjoy the journey rather than the destination sort of game. Because the end just kind of felt... I don't know, felt like it was going through the motions, you know? It's like, okay, yeah, you're supposed to be saving the, the world or whatever, gotta kill this guy, the end. It's like, oh, I guess it's over, okay. Yeah, not a good ending, but uh, the game itself was a hell of a lot of fun to play through. I mean, I suppose that's how it is for any RPG of any sort, isn't it? The journey is more important than the destination. Especially when they're always so long. Okay, well I'm not going to try to wrap up my thoughts about this game right here, right now. I haven't had time to think about it too much. Uh, might do a thoughts-type video of some sort about this. Had a hell of a lot of fun playing it. It is a gem from the past. That sadly seems to be largely forgotten. I mean, you know, there's quite a few games that are classics that you hear about quite often. Things like Deus Ex and stuff like that. System Shock 2. But I don't really hear Arx Fatalis mentioned very often. It seems to be mostly lost to time. Which seems a shame, because it's really damn good. It's damn, damn good. It's got quite a lot of problems, but... I don't know if I've ever played a game that rewards exploration. Quite as much as Arx Fatalis. I'm trying to think if there's any others. I mean... Compared to games like even Skyrim and stuff, like when it comes to RPGs, this is the sort of thing that I'm more interested in. I remember I played Skyrim, and even though obviously, you know, it's it's newer, it's shinier, it looks better, it's more of a polished experience, but you know, I never could really get into Skyrim or Oblivion. But this but this I just loved. And I think a lot of it is just how how much exploration is rewarded and how unique everything feels. Oh wow, look at that. Looks like very few voice actors did a lot of different voices. A lot of different voices. One man did a Serbius, Koltar, Tafiak, Gary, Noble Servant. Damn. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, the other game that I played that maybe rewarded exploration as much as Arx Fatalis was... A vampire... What is it? Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines? Vampire of the Bloodlines Masquerade? No, it's Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines, right? Yeah. I would put that right up with Arx Fatalis as games that reward exploration and have all sorts of just wacky and interesting things going on with them. Which is high praise indeed. Because Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines was damn good. Also a very broken game, but damn good. Yeah, this is an awesome game. Well, just want to say thank you for joining me along my very lengthy journey through Arx Fatalis, and I hope you enjoyed.